Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this video. Uh, this video isn't a really uh, tutorial, it was basically an informative session I guess or whatever or a technique or whatever uh, based on how you want to program your stuff. Uh, so I know uh, as the title states is it's gonna be like constructors versus initialized methods or functions right and a lot of people ask me uh, when I'm making my games or or if I'm teaching something or teaching programming or or whatever why do I use initialized methods over constructors uh, the reason being is that I still use constructors don't don't get it twisted I still use uh, constructors in my programs but I mainly use initialized methods and uh, or functions uh, the methods for C sharp and Java programmers and functions for C++ programmers uh, they're the same thing methods or functions are the same thing uh, so yeah but I mainly use initialized methods in order to uh, I mainly use them because of their reusability and flexibility. Uh, constructors are called upon as soon as you create an instance of that class, right? So if I have, say, like a map class, or whatever, and I I set it to map, and I say map equals new map or whatever, uh, that method's uh, constructor will automatically be called. So a constructor is good in that. Uh, when when I would say is t that you would use that you would need to or it's preferred to use a constructor is that if you have variables or something that needs to be set in order for that class to work so it's instances that need to be set as soon as the class starts or whatever or whatever that's needed variables needed etc etc that are that are needed in order for the class to run then I would uh consider putting that in the constructor now you might be saying okay is not what the initialize method is for uh, the initialize initializes variables and such like that uh initialize method is used to instant um in, uh, like initialize everything that uh is needed within your program but the difference in the initialize method is that the initialize method can be put anywhere you want so for example uh, in my game over here uh i uh, if you i have i have all my screens managed by the screen manager class okay uh in my game and the screen manager class it, it does it initialize first and then it, it calls the load content etc etc right but sometimes some things that i need to be initialized uh need to come after the load content but according to the way my screen manager is set up, some screens uh, initialize right away and some sc screens need to be initialized after the load content or within the load content. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so right here, I know you guys probably haven't seen this code, but uh, this is for my game development uh, videos. But if I go to my hair module, I believe it's in there. Yeah, so if you look right here, I still have my initialize method, and this initialize method is going to be called, right? But when it comes to actually uh, call using the initialize, what I want to do is initialize everything after my after I loaded my content, because something within my initialize method requires something that I'm loading in, it requires some information on um, whatever I'm loading in, whether it's an image's width, or image dimensions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So in order to uh, without to get any errors without getting any errors I call my initialize after we load the content and therefore it loads it um whenever I need to when, whenever I need to be loaded if I was to have a constructor say and I would uh, per se and I was supposed to put everything in the constructor then uh, I would run into some errors because if say for example my my variable say I have a variable called the image width or whatever and it requires the images width that I'm going to load on whenever I initialize the class or whenever I create an instance of the class, what it's going to do is try to make that image equal to uh, the image loaded um, width or height or whatever, etc., etc. But the problem is that the it hasn't loaded yet, right? We haven't called load content yet, and therefore, since our image isn't loaded, then it has no data to place in there, and therefore, we're going to get um, some errors. So the reason why I mainly use initialize methods or functions 
is because it kind of gives you flexibility uh for if for whatever reason you say you want your you want to reset your values to the default values you can always call your initialize method whenever possible uh if you have a instance of a class and you want to reset the values again uh then y you can't recall the constructor unless you make a new instance of the class right there but with this you get all the uh the all the values remain the same and you can reset certain values using the initialize method etc etc uh so it's really up to you. You can still get around uh, to doing what you want to do with a constructor or initialize method. But I prefer the initialize method because it gives me more flexibility. I, I choose when the, to call the initialize. As for the constructor, it calls itself as soon as you make an instance of it. So if uh, if there's something that is absolutely needed in order for the class to run and you need to make it before the class or anything else happens within the class, then by like by all means it would it would make sense to use a constructor right but if you don't uh if you need the flexibility or um need uh, no you need to have the flexibility on where to put certain things etc cetera, etc cetera, uh then it would be better to actually have an initialized method so i i hope that kind of cleared up some confusion that some of you guys might be ha having if you have any questions you can post on the comment below or on my website and also, don't forget to check out my game development videos. I'm going to be posting up a new video soon. Uh, but yeah, but that this is it for this informative session. I hope this kind of cleared up some things for you. And thanks for watching, and bye.